Hello and welcome. Today we're working on the gross profit method to estimate ending inventory. Now, if you're new here, my name is Jeff from Finally Learn, and we're going through the financial accounting chapters. So we're in chapter five, inventory and cost of goods sold. So you can check out the playlist for this chapter. I've got articles, I've got videos, and so just trying to help you learn financial accounting. So let's get started with estimating ending inventory. Now there's two methods. The gross profit method is what we're working today. The retail method is the next video. So why do we need to estimate ending inventory? Well, sometimes we can't count the inventory because it's been damaged or there's a flood or fire or theft or something like that. And sometimes we say, look, we don't want to do a full count. We just want a quick estimate. So estimating ending inventory using the gross profit method. So let's do two examples. Our first example here is we have beginning inventory, purchases, and we have sales, and we have the gross profit as 40%. So that's our given information. So what is our estimate of ending inventory? Now to work this type of problem, we know a couple of things. We know the formula, how to calculate cost of goods sold. So take our beginning inventory plus purchases, gives us goods available, and then minus ending inventory gives us cost of goods sold. All right? Now, we also know on the income statement, sales minus cost of goods sold gives us gross profit. Now, gross profit is a number we keep up with and a percentage we keep up with. So here's what we know. One thing that's kind of understood is our sales are gonna be 100%. So let's just start at the bottom here and our gross profit is going to be 40%. I'm going to point to it so we can use this as a template so we could change the numbers and we could have a second or a third or a fourth problem calculated really, really easily. All right, so our cost of goods sold, if our sales are 100% and our profit, our gross profit is 40%, then our cost of goods sold has to be 60%. All right, so our sales here are given to be 162,000. And so we also know our beginning inventory, we started with 11,500, and then we purchased 92,400. So what's our goods available? Our goods available is gonna be 11,500 plus 92,400. It's 103,900 is our goods available. Now we sold 162,000. But that's not the cost of what we sold, that is the retail amount, that's the sales price. So here, this deals with the cost of our items and this is our selling price of our items. So here's the connection. We need to figure out our gross profit so we can figure out our cost of goods sold, so we can bring cost of goods sold over here to back in to find ending inventory. So let's do it. 162,000 times the 60%, gives us 97,200, and then we simply subtract out 162 minus 97,200. Now, also, this we could take the 162,000 times 40%. Let me show you that's the other way to do it, 162 times 40%. All right, 64,800, that's our answer. So cost of goods sold now, we've estimated it to be 97,200, and so therefore our ending inventory is going to be the difference. 103,900 minus the 97,200. So our ending inventory is going to be 6,700. All right, so what we have is we have a template. Now we could change this. We could change this from 40% to 45% and you see everything gets updated. We could change our, our uh, original beginning inventory to 30,000. Everything gets updated and so we now have a calculation here. All right, so you want to use a template. Let's do a second example. Our second example, we have beginning inventory of 22,500. Our purchases are 150,000. So what's our goods available? Our goods available is 172,500. We know that our sales are 100%. That's always going to be given. And then our 
gross profit is 55,000. I'm sorry, 55%. Our total dollar amount is 330,000. Our cost of goods sold, we know is going to be 100 minus 55%. So our cost of goods sold is going to be 45% of what our selling price is. So 330 times the 45%. We can subtract it out or we can simply multiply 330 times the 55%. So our cost of goods sold, we know is 148,500. What is our ending inventory? Our ending inventory is 172 minus the 148, so it's 24,000. Now we set up a template. Once again, we set up a template. We can change some numbers. We can change the 225 to 27,000. We can change the purchases to 183,000. We can change the sales to 312,000. And the gross profit could be, let's say, 48%. And now we've had a new problem, but we built it based on a template with Excel, and we can create new problems along the way. Hey, see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.